Where were you born? I go General Hospital. Well, what year was that? 1910. And uh, were you a healthy baby? Yeah. I understand that you were... Uh, not supposed to live. Why? <laughs> Why weren't you supposed to live? I can't remember everything. I'm an old lady. You were premature and you weren't supposed to live? They thought it was a miracle. And how old are you now? 107. <laughs>was my grandmother, and she started out as Pearl Isabel Hudson. Henry Hudson was my great-great-grandfather. This is her family. That's my grandma, and that's her sister Mary, her sister Flo, her brother Raymond, and then her mother, what's her mother's Sarah name? Sarah Elizabeth right? Wallington, she was from Wales. And then John Robert Hudson. John Robert Hudson. Her father was injured in the First World War. He was on a boat that got sunk. The Germans sunk him. And he was in the water for several days and they didn't expect him to live, but then he had a bad heart and he yeah. couldn't really work. And they had no money. They were very poor. Sometimes they didn't have food. In the war, there was no food. And mother scraped together something for the younger kids. And we'd be in the hall waiting. If they didn't need it, we got some. Her mother, my great-grandmother, took her out of school and took her to the woolen mill because the family was so in desperately in need of money. I was 12 when I went to work in the wool factory. And then they got slack and then I was lucky to get a job at the silk mills because they were so good. We could make more money than a man. She told me that you could make $24 a week at the silk mill where most men were making $8 a week. So she was doing quite well. So in search of employment, the family left Galt and so my grandma stayed. She bought her own motorcycle which she uh, was dear to her and when she talked about her motorcycle days she always had a twinkle in her eye. That's how she met my grandfather. Well I had a BSA, a small one. And he had a motorcycle, a big one. I can remember riding with him and then he all of a sudden he'd get up and stand up and I'd be out in the back <laughs> and I'd be scared stiff. He just wanted to give me a thrill, I guess. <laughs> and I guess he thought that was pretty amazing, a woman having her own motorcycle, plus she had her own bedroom set, her own dining room set, and a good job. And so she probably looked like a very good prospect, and they were married. That's where my mom started her life. I'm Cleo Pearl Petrini Melzer, and I'm the daughter of the late Joseph and Pearl Petrini. When I was about three years old, we moved into Guelph. This was the old bush. There was old trees and bush here. We had to cut them down to get to put the house here. And Grandma, I think Grandpa and two friends built the house, right? They built this house and they built Bird Church's house and they built Jack Hayer's house. Well, that's the way they did things. We helped everybody, helped each other. And when we were kids, we would uh, pack the tent, pile into the van, up to Algonquin Park. But my mom, that was her life. They went everywhere. They had such adventures. And she had quite a life. She had quite an amazing life. My grandma and I got along very well. We had a number of things in common, enjoying gardening and just enjoying sitting outside and, and watching her yard. We had many good chats. And so um, it's been quite a, an adjustment uh, with her gone now, and we, we really miss her. Mm -hmm. You know, I had her more than uh, most people would have their mums but I miss her terribly and it was it was it happened so suddenly and it was such a shock. I was getting ready to bring her home and um, the next thing I knew, 
Melody and I were with her, and uh, now she's not here. Lindsay's life. <laughs> I went across to Switzerland where all the yodelers be and I tried to learn to yodel with the yodel OT. Climbed a big high mountain on a clear and sunny day while well, I fell in love with a yodeling boy and he taught me what to say. Oh yes, he taught me to yodel. Yodel OT, A-T, yodel OT, yodel OT. That's all you're getting. <laughs>